Welcome back to another segment of the Don Dialogue Show. My name is Angeshi Mukui and with me today is Omosh Poa and we'll be reflecting on our nation's journey, the challenges faced and the victories we celebrate as Kenya since the Kenya Kwanza government took charge. Uh, Mr. Omosh Poa, karibu sana to the show. Say hi to my viewer. Asante sana. Abarizenu, tukondani. Karibu ni sana. Tune in. To yeah. TV. Yes, for the TV. Uh, maybe okay. briefly you can tell us who Omoshpo is and uh, what you are uh, in the society. Okay, uh, Omoshpo is a, a politician, Mwana Biashara, Apanakuru County, Natena ni team leader, na mentor. Yes. Maybe you can briefly tell us uh, your interest in politics, maybe. Oh, okay. okay. Um, I'm, I'm interested in, in politics. Kwa mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, chance Yes. Oh. So we dive into the matters making our headlines in our Kenyan newspapers today and uh, the mainstream media as well. Uh, recently we've had uh, a dialogue between uh, the judiciary and the executive and the parliament. Uh, the, both, the top leaders of the three arms of the government had held a meeting. Uh, do you think that's going to compromise the autonomy of the judiciary court? of the judiciary of the government. Okay, first of all, first of all, Madam Wangeshi, what's the the government is today. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think that they are doing anything good for people. Mm -hmm. For one, ukiona ukiona bila sisi executive wana bila executive wana bila ala sida everything. Executive boba me kalia kila kitu. Being, being a judiciary, mm -hmm. being a legislation department, mm -hmm. being a, being a, a, a security, you see? So, unakuta executive, saizi, anakalia, kila kitu. Whereby, I don't think if there is anything good, even with the judiciary, oh no, the executive, dialoguing with the judiciary. Because easy to be resolved is that in a panic as far as the impangos are executive, so executive is that dictate, you see. Aya, juzi vile uluko na the the wrangle in between judiciary na executive. To me, me no one is is so it was just like a PR, you see. Executive, ni kama wali tumia vidoli tumia in that yonekane. Kwa mwacha watu, kuna rangol. Whereas to me, hakuna rangol ili kwa pani. Ni executive ndi ubado anataka haku executive, as per that English word, na kanagilie kila kitu. Mia, I'm seeing nothing new or nothing will be changed. Yes. Yesterday, during a meeting, CJ Kome said that the meeting would not, the meeting of the executive, of the three arms of the government, would not affect the independence of the judiciary. Do you think uh, following their leg, they also said they are going to address the people in the, the elephant in the room that's corruption among, its, uh, among the judiciary. Do you think it's going to be possible? No, Madam Wangishi, I think it is not possible. For one, mm -hmm. the other day, Uliona Madam Kome Vidali Ali Jifana, let me see, let me use that word. Ali Jifana, like, and they were pleased to be the executive and end against the orders, you see. The following day, the same, same Madam Kobe, they had a dialogue with the executive, the head of the executive, that's the president, you see. After that, we learned how they talk about we even some goodies. They were given goodies. They were added some officials, you see. So, while it Toka pale kama wale kwa wame wame farishan na it was like everything was sorted. You see, so to me, sio ni kama there is something new. Yenye yenye judiciary wapata fanya kulingana bila executive kunataka. 
Meaning, this is where this one. Mm -hmm. And the uh, uh, executive, they, they just want to dominate always, to mm -hmm. carry the day. Mm -hmm. Yes. We shift to the housing levy and uh, the social health insurance fund, which is aimed at uh, attaining the universal health care. Uh, health cover as projected in the Kenya Kwanza Manifesto. Uh, we've had an, uh, an opposition uh, from uh, Kenyans and uh, some of its, uh, uh, some of the Kenya Kwanza government saying that uh, the idea is basically to rob off cash from its citizens and then uh, enrich themselves as top leaders in the government. Do you feel that the housing levy and the health, uh, social health insurance fund is viable to common energy or is it there to familiar as a citizen first of all uh, housing housing levy is, is a scam mm -hmm. that thing is a totally a scam who can really the president and drive this issue of a uh, of um, house levy mm -hmm. automatically it triggers something at a mood when you do at a new upper kuna kitu in a kula in gibi for sababu house levy to Kiangalia Serikalia, the previous regime, Ya Moshinoa Umigai Kinato. The idea of house uh, affordable housing was there. Nabile Iliqua structured, Nabile Iliqua Ipanu is totally different. Nabile Mimino Society. Mr. President William Bruto had promised to allocate funds for the same during his campaign, mm -hmm. and he has now shifted the gear and has decided to impose uh, taxes to fund the housing project and the social health insurance fund. Uh, is it that they are not true to their words? Or they are not true. They are not true to their word. Mm -hmm. This regime is a totally full of people lying mm -hmm. from morning to evening. What they can say better or good is nothing. Mm -hmm. They lie in the morning. They lie in the afternoon. They, they lie in the evening. The house, um, I'm repeating this, the house lady the 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 they are for affordable house plus that so called lady is a scam mm -hmm. it's a scam madam Wangishi, let us just do some simple mathematics the previous regime mm -hmm. had this idea of housing uh, as lady affordable houses lakini vile walikuwa bameleta ilikuwa ifanywe bila ku tax anything kwa sababu it was there in the government budget then the normal tax that the, that the government do always it may cover house levy in the previous government. But ukivuka kwa hii serikali ya sahi, unakuta these people are taxing everything. They are taxing everything, even where you are stepping now. There's, there is some tax. Uh, this, this free hair, this free hair we breathe for providing motion. These people are taxing everything. You see, now this regime they are taxing uh, uh, employees mm -hmm. in the name of affordable housing. Size is the manuba zenye zimisha size yuko cha kujua ikitu riskam. Apa na kuru kuko na hizi manuba zenye zimisha apa chini. Na kuta three bedroom unazua four point three. Okay, they recently launched a project in Nakuru. Mm -hmm. I am informed that it was launched by the former president of exactly. Kenyatta. Exactly. So, well, there were funds allocated for the said project, yes. right? Yes. And uh, there are funds collected to fund the same project in the current regime. Yes. How would you say that in your opinion? In my opinion, these people are just rubies. Because mm -hmm. If if the if funds were already allocated for the for, for this house here, unakuta sa hizi tena kwa hizi serikali tena kuna funds tena in the kwa side for the same same house. Nuna, do you do a kuele watu wana rob? Hizi pesa where are they going? Nyumba hapo chini ni sa hizi ni four point three doing here kwa nyumba. Deposit is four hundred thousand after. Registering through it is the portal. Mm -hmm. You see, now ideas Zahi government will go over and say, easy bang by human is a hustlers. Mamboga, Namudua, Boda Boda. Tell me, Madam Bongish, when will Mamboga sign up? Wabakatigani, Mamboga, Atasana, four hundred thousand. 
Kansilins, I end up with the debts in the end of the half of the other house. Uki compared to prepare as a regime. Uru Aleka Kitu, very okay. Numa Iliqua, three bedroom Iliqua, one point one. With the with the one inch of Kawida Aliqua and Aleva only twenty k doing a valentine. So it's a guinea, only party of Kawapi. Nanyumba, which was a good idea. Now it's always because it's kifanya with without taxing anything. Like in his size, we are being taxed. Nyumba nye nye to not tax is is like uh, this regime headed by President Ruto. An attack so what to wajenga nyumba na mfuko yao. Mkisha jenga nyumba na mfuko yao. Mwekewe ile beye nye already mutashidwa ku occupy those houses. That will give them proper avenue wa wenyewe wa process wa o. To me, eh, as a politician, and I always stand by my facts, as a politician, I'm seeing President Trudeau wants to owe everything in this country. President Trudeau wants to owe. Pre President Trudeau wants to, to be national landlord. Who will Mama Boga Mugani, Ama Mutua Boda Boda Mugani, and afford his own? Houses. These things are just scam scam. You see? The other governments. In fact, when I circle is in a yuma, when you are going to cut for nini for insurance help. Why? Because Kenyans are paying for tax. Now is it is okay in your tax in in a self and if I'm iso. So when I cut easy circle yes I uh, house and in the, okay, health in, in, in insurance, one and double. One and double from Ili and Yilikwa previous regime. Making common one inch who kwa na kazigumu ata kulipa in the health. Now in SF9, who kilipa kwa you be in your banasema size, and Madame Kishi, and a wazima of hospitals as the Serikali. Everything is corrupt. Even even kama una umekuwa uklipa ya NSF, uende kwa hizi mausitali na NSF card, kukuna zile maugonjwa zinya awatibu. Kuna Na kenye, unafanya immediately uokinye kwa facility, what you are being asked, is it the cash or that amount? Kuna na? Sa, unakuta Kenya ya sayi, everything to me is a scam. In fact, I don't believe in anything that is going on in this country. Yes. And, uh, Recently, we've seen that uh, the judiciary is uh, uh, supporting that uh, they move their, some of their services to the Huduma Center. Do you think uh, it's going to delay justice to most Kenyans, or is it going to fasten the process? In maybe the approach uh, during case filing, uh, court service, and uh, other procedures that take place before a court is heard to in court. Uh, judiciary, judiciary, who kwa to my center, me now on a good side, Muanzo, a judiciary, kufa. Ama Muanzo, ya judiciary, bituzao could be near. Quanini, what can it be to sort to my center, including birth certificate? As at now, the old honor, birth certificate society who came up for inquire while one Na hii serikali ilisema watakuwa wana tax paka bath certificate judges have to pay. So ikiwa watarudisha wata pia zote za judiciary kwa uduma center. Na hapu ndiyo kuna makese zigine zita kuatulea pale. Kuna haki jawa nyonge haita pani ni? Haita takilezo. Kwa sababu immediately affairs za judiciary zita Pitia udu, Duma Center. Automatically, they are, they are going to impose some amount of money. Yenye mtu wa kakawida labda, atafikia. Mfano, ku apply for some eh, cases, like hizi makeses za shamba. Utakuta zile figures zinyi mwana inchi wa kakawida, atawakea kupitia Duma Center, alipe, ndo a file case ita kwa juu. Sasa itakuwa ina robo mpaka wana inchi, cash na haki yao. So me, I don't support ju judiciary. Kupeleka mm -hmm. kwa service piti wapi? Kudma center. Kudma center. Mm -hmm. Yes. Na, 
kuna yale mapendekezo ambayo yamepelekwa mbele na wafuasi wa akina kwanza wakitaka waweze kupewa uh, they, they, they want to be in a position where they elect as the judges to curb corruption in the judiciary system do you think that's going to be that one effect? cannot work kwanza kenya kwanza ndio wako kwa serikali sahihi ikiwa watapewa hiyo nafasi wa wenyewe ndio wako wanachagua majajes malipa pale vile watu wao hizi unajua hawa watu wote ni these people are our, our thieves grabbers thieves and con these people who are leading this government that direct from top to top they are liars con people eh, 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 fraudulent obtainers you see ikiwa watapewa nafasi ya kuchagua eh, majajes mali pale itakuwa like wanachagua judge mwenye watajua watafamilia watachagua wale majajes wenye wakichagua ikiwa atapatikana na kikese za ufisadi mamlakani wao tena ndio watapendekeza judge gani anafanya kesi yao wakati kesi itafika kwa kwa meza ya judge ni wao wao wenyewe ndio wametetewa hiyo kesi watakanyagilia nafanya nini ishe hii ni njia tu ya kufisha inchi na wa wananchi wasiposoma tu imara wachungi vizuri ni lei hizi size na inapelekwa tutarudi kwa ile enzi ya inchi inakuwa dictated na inakuwa controlled na akili moja so mimi i don't in, in fact anything this government is doing madam wangesi madam wangesi mean eh i oppose everything in fact i i oppose everything nothing good in this government yes Uh, we, ch- we shift the gears and uh, move to the economics uh, related issues in the country and uh, yesterday uh, we are actually approaching the deadline to when we were supposed to clear the euro bond debt and the euro bond debt currently stands at 2 billion dollars right. in Kenya right. and uh, the government is uh, coming up with a plan to pay the debt within the remaining five months yes. how will that affect the common manage okay uh, first of all mm-hmm. the president himself kuna wakati alitoa utuba akasema washalibadi mm-hmm. na alisema deni ni sasa hizi tunadaiwa totally including euro bond is figureable so si kuelewa figureable au figureable ni nini sijui ni vitu za kuhesabu ma si 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 kwa hapo ukiangalia zile eh, tablet yenye yenye tulipewa iwe tumalipa eh, euro bond na ile wakati yenye president alitoa hiyo tuba inaonekana kwa macho ya mwananchi wa kawaida ni kuwa eh, euro bond ni kitu ina steady iwe imekuwa settled for your in, in for for mission kulingana bila head of state anafanya nini anasema head of state alisema vizuri atakopa through our taxes watalipa deni zote including Europe you see saizi head of state is is roaming all, all over the world borrowing the same time tax tunalipa tax excessively 100% plus you see so tuna assume kama layman that zizi tax zenye tunalipa eh na zile deni zenye president anakopa labda anakopa from uh, the other side alipe is telling you ama akope ya investment lakini ama tax ilipe nini euro bond so mimi sisi mali to make kanyuma we just waiting to see according to the president alipe nini aliongea kusu euro bond mm-hmm. yes um, since we are approaching the euro bond deadline mm-hmm. imf are also on our neck mm-hmm. they want us to implement a tax that would be able to pay their debt on time mm-hmm. how is that going to impact the economy of the country of kenya i i, I think where we are heading for the mangeshi we are heading in a very hectic point financially mm-hmm. as a country because mm-hmm. people the government of the, of the, the day that to speak the truth you see mm-hmm. the government of the the, the, the ile kitu yote ina, inabuza pesa mm-hmm. au ngi ukweli mm-hmm. unakumbuka last year mwezi wa 8 mm-hmm. kuhusu uh, IMF mm-hmm. ilikuwa speculated kuwa eh mm-hmm. 
imekuwa ime sorted nusu whereas in actual sense unakuta IMF hakuna kitu imekuwa sorted badala ikuwe sorted bado madeni zinakuwa piled mali pale sasa mimi ninaona hii mzigo zote as Kenyans hakuna mahali tutahepea eh, financial crisis na vile usiku inakuwa usiku na tutanakuwa mamza tena ndio tutanazidi kuwa na bili mingi zaidi na zaidi what we need to ask to ask ourselves is this hizi pesa zote zenye zina security ike na direct from tax to zile zenye tunakopa where they headed to zinaenda and what are they doing kwa sababu everything is easy inafanywa na tax yes and uh... As a resident of Nakuru County and a citizen of the Republic of Kenya, do you feel that uh, we should get access to information on the finance, especially on the financial details of how this particular money allocated for this particular project was used, uh, and either there was another amount topped up? Do you think that you should, there should be openness? I, I think it is. It, it is in the constitution. Sisi kama wanaiti tuko na haki ya kujua vile pesa za inchi inatumika na tuko na haki ya kuuliza mahali pesa yenye tuna doubt imeenda na tuko na haki kama wanakena kikatiba kutoa maoni yetu vile pesa ya inchi inafai fanya nini ifanye kazi lakini unakuta mwananchi wa kawaida ana access hata kujua vile treasury ya Kenya inovaid Treasury ya Kenya imekanyagelewa na na, na makatels. Mm-hmm. The big the big the big men. This guy you see what I the big men. Mm-hmm. The big men you are men surround treasury ya Kenya. Mm-hmm. Whereby mwananchi wa kawaida e ana any information. Mm-hmm. In fact we people we always rely from you. Mm-hmm. Nyinyi bwana bari. Mm-hmm. Ndio mfanye mahesabu zenu mm-hmm. eh mwingine we investigate tujue mm-hmm treasury ya ya Kenya ile aje na pesa za 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 Kenya inafanya nini inatunuka vipi kwa sababu sisi kama common raia zile figures ni mwaka tuna tuna tunaletewa eh as it exact so i have to do lakini vile pesa ya inchi ina style ifanye kazi hata ina style to kwangi na public participations tujue leo ruto ameenda amekopa pesa bali flani hiyo pesa imeingia ama ijagia imeingia okay ni ngapi iko flani sasa tufanyeni aje sisi kama executive tulikuwa tunaona hivi pesa ifanye 1 2 3 4 lakini atujuagi my friend si tunasika tu tuna China wa mtupe 13 billion hiyo story ni shako tunasikia Germany wa pesa wao nini hiyo story ni shako ujuagi hiyo pesa imeingia ama ijagia ujuagi imeingia imekapata nini atujuagi so eh, eh, financial department ya Kenya ime kaliwa na makatels mm-hmm. sisi hatuna access mm-hmm. that is why mbaba eh, na na nafasi ya kuzungusha hizi vile 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 yes uh, yesterday in yesterday's newspaper the governors walikata the 395 billion mm-hmm. in shillings allocated to them and in today's newspaper they wrote uh, they, there was a, 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 an animation the dp handing over the money given to him by the treasury and the chairman of the council of the governors said that uh, we want the full chicken mm-hmm. where the wings mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. uh, what impact would that bring to the common mananchi and uh, to the economic uh, in the county level in, in the economy at the county level mm-hmm. in various counties mm-hmm. okay wangishi wanajua kwa hizi issues zenye zinaenda national government pamoja na county government mm-hmm. wenye wanaumia na kuambia ni wananchi wa chief mm-hmm. kwa sababu the, the same same scamming system in kwa, kwa national government mm-hmm. iko pale kwa mm-hmm. county government mm-hmm. ikiwa eh, ikiwa governors wa washaka chini paka wanaona vizuri tunaona tunataka portion of this much na wale wane mm-hmm. isemwe kana ni this much hiyo ni hiyo una there is no point in you kwa wanaweza tena ubongelewe kando mm-hmm. eh? wakubali kupokea portion fulani 
with the demand that the, the, the needful portion. No, no. So, no, no, hapa hivi kona kitu inakula tungine. Ni only mutu menye ana in for formation ni nipika kura wana inti wa watini. Confusion is there. Even kwa hii county tu hiyana kuri. Eh? Mari naishi, mari nanajua vile affairs ziko, vile vitu zinafanyo. Confusion is home. Everywhere I have a Council of Governors. If actually Baba Baba likuwa na interest yeye to CC, yeah? Akuna akuna haja ya kufanya vitu behind the curtain. Wange kuwa wakifafanya vitu publicly. Wakati ubanelewana ina kuwa behind the camera. Kama kuna issue imena awkward be between the county and the national government. Wana vita kuwa camera. Mini ni sisi ni wana too full. Yeah. So me I uh, me me or, 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 or my opinion madam Bangeshi this country this is change e e chintaka tu mbadiliko kabisa na serious change na hii serious change itaanza na mwananchi wa chini wakati mwananchi wa chini atakoweka na amue tunataka change hii Kenya itanoka hii yes so uh, to me, we've seen it's all over. Uh, the inf in most investors are pulling out from investing in the country because of the high taxation, and that is weakening our Kenyan shilling. What comment would you give on that? Uh, 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 investor, Akisha Hama, na he ndio alikuwa na saidi mwana inchi bati mkuishi. What next? Uyu mwana inchi bati ni ata 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 kuta jazz ngine yakufanya ni. Kuishi. That is where that narration of dynasty versus dynasty versus hustlers. You see, so you that where where that 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 narration it appears. Because now, after it, Muhammad Abangeshi, what you wanna be tell me, Musa? Investor, when you are not there, what to carry? You wanna put a muta kenda job and sagua masa akifanya like 6 hours ama 7 ana le alipo miatano ama mia sita huyu mtu anawekewa tax zicho yenye aizi lipa na basically na hame eh huyu common man atafanya wa kazi huyu common man ititafika wakati watu watakuwa against the rich people kwa sababu wow the rich people wao ndio wanaungana wa impose tax mingi kwa investor atoke awachie wao wenyewe warani hizo companies na hawatarani hizo companies vile investor na ali kwa kirani sasa itakuwa tu, tu, tu vita kati ya maskini na tajiri eh ni ndio makwani wani hii ndio kitu yenye inakuja hii serikali ikienda kufanya hii hizi hizi vitu eh kuna vita hapa hii inakuja ya matajiri versus maskini na hiyo siku, hiyo saa mwamanaizi mwachini ya kakwa na sauti. Yes. Mm 